Hello, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, Ray Ferraro coming up. I'm Mike Emmerich, and now we've reached a game three, and the team that's on the road lost the first two. So how do they approach this one? Well, I think you got to go to history, Doc. There have been plenty of teams that have lost the first two games at home and have gone out to win this series. So all you need to do is win game three. There's pressure on us, yes, but the home team needs to take advantage of that. So if I'm the coach of the visiting team, as I'm looking at my team getting off to a really good start and learning from what we did not get accomplished in the first two games in this series. The Bruins put themselves in a tough spot, but it takes four games to win a series. In order to do that, this game three is a must. If I'm the coach of the visiting team, the biggest sell job I have is to get your players to believe you can get back in this series with a win here in game three. And now we turn to the last lines of defense, the goalies. From a win last game, we'll try to keep playoff momentum with this game. Playoff series just got harder to win with last game's loss, so he'll need to dig deep, and so will his team in this contest ahead. The centermen are in, and the puck will be dropped. The playoffs, the best time of year, and we begin. Mike Emmerich here, Eddie Olchek next to me. Eyesight is Ray Ferraro. Many yards gained the Hainsey. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Gathered up again by John Tavares. Moving it to Bjork. Side to side they go, trying to generate something. Score! His first playoff goal. What a great memory for him. They'll certainly have more energy. They've got the game's first score, and now they can play from in front. The Bruins have broken the scoreless tie early. Good reach there. It is a hooking call on this play. A restraining foul, and the arm of the referee is hot. Boston's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. The referees are looking for this. Anytime you stop skating and reach with your stick and pull on the opponent, you're going to the penalty box. Toronto's power play is activated for the first time tonight. Oh, you get your power play on the ice for the first time. You can really generate some momentum, whether you score or not. You have a positive power play. Hammers one. At least he protected his goaltender. Saved there. Collected by Marchand. It's out of the zone. I don't know if you could do this much better. The first portion of this power play has been eaten up by the penalty killers. They've been quicker, they've been more determined, and there's been no danger, no pops to the net so far. Pitching this one to Levo. Directing that one to Marlow. He's in on an onside play. Shoots, used that big goalie stick well. The Leafs needed something from their power play and didn't get it, as that measured. The Bruins force another turnover in this game. Let's see what they can do with it. On to Marlowe. Let's it go. Outstanding save. Difficult opportunity. Looked like the net was open for a second, but he shut it down. Raz made a textbook stop here. He's in good shape positionally. He makes the save, and he makes it look really easy. Just a bit over four minutes have been skated here in the first period. Boston's up in this game, 1-0. Puck is thrown to DeBrus, whose puck blocked off by Marlowe. The Maple Leafs skated up on the side. That puck is loose, a good defensive play. And possession has changed. Brilliant move on that pass. Laid on to Marner. Can start the attack going in the zone. Backhander to the net. Good work there in goal. 
Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. Boston's got a defensive zone win. The Bruins have left the defensive zone. It's dumped in. Looking to Marner. Snapping a pass to Hyman. Pucks loose off the enemy this time. Hyman's hooked on this play, and the arm of the referee is high. Anderson's at the bench. Delayed penalty continues. Extra man on. Boston's roster goes down by one here. At least briefly, a minor penalty for hooking. Well, what he was trying to do is trying to get the puck, but unfortunately for him, he reached in and hooked around the player. Off to the penalty box he goes. Toronto's power play gets another chance to operate. Hasn't been effective yet. No matter how often you work on the power play, the ones that struggle go back to the same. Score! That's how a power play should work. break if only if you cash through they're able to score the power play goal has tied this contest up under seven minutes played here in the first we are at one goal apiece solid win at center ice now what perfect pass tape to tape he's got it at center ice from right wing Chip to Miller. Hammering his way up the wing at center. Nice work by Brown. Fantastic poke check. In with it now. Couldn't get through and retain possession. To Riley. Slid to Codry. He scores! Two straight goals. There's been pretty good back and forth here in a tie game. Now they've got the lead. We'll see what they do with it. Toronto's ahead by one goal here in the first period. A lot of time still left to play, but getting one and breaking the tie was huge. Toronto goal scored by number 28, Connor Brown. Skates it into the zone. Boston's in their own end, moving the puck. Good defensive play, hand to eye and center ice. Got it in his own end. And we get a penalty. The referee to the table, a player to the box. The Bruins are given a hooking minor. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Maple Leafs go on the power play again. They have connected once already. I like their setup on the power play that scored earlier, Doc. Let's see if they can get it set up again. Move the penalty killers around for a couple of good chances. The angle changed. Great stick save. He cleared that puck out of there. What a hit that was. Oh, you got to love that early hit, Doc. You get to the rink, you want to set a tone for your team if you can, and an early hit is one way to do it. They must retreat and start back again. As soon as the goaltender reads the release of the shot, he drops to the butterfly and makes a really easy stop. Dropped in the log jam, and the winger reached in and got it. Takes it in from the neutral zone. 
Gathered up again by John Tavares. Great shot. Save. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. The Leafs' power play let them down at a key point. Pass attempt to Tavares. Huge hit in open ice. Oh, that's going to make them think twice about going to that area. Puck loose, denied by the defense. He loads it up. They score! And they've tied the game up. get the lead, you want to pin the lead down. You want to give yourself the opportunity to spread the lead out. But they don't. They give up the time goal. And now we're back to even. Boston's got another face-off win. Propel to Carlo. Read that play in his own hand. Is able to move on in. Picks it up back there. Boston's lugging it in the neutral zone. Did not get anything up. He cut that one off in the defensive end. On to Tavares. Handled with the stick. That puck is held, and the whistle stops play. That wasn't a very dangerous opportunity at all, but to be sure, the goalie drops to the butterfly and turns it aside. Just a little over six minutes left in the first, and this game is tied at two. Toronto's got that faceoff win. Enormous hit. He's crushed. Riley's often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. The Maple Leafs are driving it from the wing. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. He caught a piece of that one. Equal to the challenge. Nice stop. Couldn't get through. It's loose. Shoots. Didn't have time, but he saved it anyway. Pretty run-of-the-mill stop for the goaltender. He's got a clean look. It's a shot without much velocity. Critical win of the draw. Trying to go to Ennis. Cut that pass in his own end. Loose pocket went off one of the guys there. Pitching it to Hyman. Steps across that line. Shoots. Loud pad save. Is right behind the net now. Has that one measured in his own end. Passing one off now to Levo. From the outside. Good save there. And the reason for the whistle is after that save, the puck went out of play. I'd like to say that the shooter was shooting for a rebound. At least I hope he was, because that shot had no chance of going in. Nice face-off win. Right at the net, and he got his pad on it. Gets that one on a cross. And down to DeBrusque. Laid on to Marshan. Beside the line. Dishes it back. Lifts one. Save. Right on his stick. Can he get it out? Tried to clear, but failed. Clock bleeds down to the last minute. Centers. Big pad save. Picked up by the defense. Now it's directed to Levo. Chip to Johnson. Using the point. He's got it. 
Oh, that pass tipped away by the opposition. Clock continues to get to the smaller numbers here, but there may be time for another rush. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. Good shooting place. That went off the path. And so period one comes to a close. Both teams struck twice, so a little confidence offensively for both of these squads. Period two will be forthcoming. The Bruins, on the strength of this game-tying goal, have gotten this contest back even, and maybe they're the team with the edge as we go to break. Contest is underway and all even up. Holds in the corner. Really good cut of the pass. Slid to Tavares. Oh, he got it! You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently a better guy to stop it. Big drive. Oh, what a chance, what a save. Propelled to Grizzly. The Leafs look to make a difference up the wing. Such a good stick. That could have been held by a Canadian of the 70s. The Bruins are at the wing in neutral ice. A shot swept aside. Gains that offensive line. Good position in the slot. Loose puck knocked away by Marshan. Has it picked up. The Bruins with a neutral zone possession along the way. Tip to the net. Pad save. And they are in. Dogged determination there by Gardner. Not a hard hit, but effective. It's lost. Fires. Wonderful stop. Moving it to Matthews. Pitching this one to Johnson. Brings it in for an attack. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. The battle for possession continues. Scrum over. Puck kicked. Kicked out of that cluster. Just couldn't make it. Gets behind the net and looks to the front. One-timer and a save. Puck covered, whistle blown. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Just a bit under six minutes off the clock here in the second. So far, four goals equally divided. The Bruins prevail again. On to Bacchus. That's terrific goaltending. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. The Bruins win it. Let's it go. Solid club save. As soon as the shooter starts to release this, the goalie drops to the butterfly. Hey, buddy, pick up your head. You might see he's down on his knees already. Off that faceoff from the tie-up, the help came. Ricochets it on to Ennis. Good intercept. He dumps it in. The Dermot. 
shoots. That shot came from nowhere. That great save was all positioning. The goalie doesn't have to do much with this, but he's able to use his stick to make this save. Face off and a solid tie up and help arrive. Good job. It's dumped in. Osternox tripped and a penalty should be coming. Perfect passing right through center. They vacated the goal crease so they can go with that extra man. The exchange is made. Shoots it off. Great stick save. Kick to Bjork. Play is stopped, and now we'll hear the call. The Maple Leafs are going to the box for two minutes, and the call is tripping. Well, in desperation mode, all he was trying to do was sweep the puck away, but unfortunately, caught the player's skates. Boston's power play gets its first chance in this game tonight. Always important to win the special team's battle, or at the very least, come out even. Zaitsev's got it on his stick, trying to get it out of there. He helps his team make progress with that bounce pass. Chooses the corner. Laid on to Grizzly. Directing that one to Hyman. Chip to Bacchus. Shot. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. Now that's a solid save. And down to Hyman. Snaps it to Bacchus. The Bruins' power play let him down at a very important time. Up to the point. Good place to shoot from, and he does. Stick handling failed a little bit there. Puck loose. A good stick there, so no complete pass. Puck is thrown to Bjork. Still has control through center. And offside is called on the play. Toronto's fans got back on their feet after watching the replay of that massive save on the big board. I don't think we're going to see a bigger save than that the rest of the night. The Maple Leafs get it off the faceoff. Driving in from no man's land. Good attempt, but a weak stick. A busted stick on a play like that. Oh. Takes it from the boards and looks on. A long scorcher. Great save. Boston's got it again. A shot. That hits somebody. Carries it on in from center. Great job in his own end with that interception. Nicely received at the point. Slid to Miller. Backhander to the net. Couldn't make it through. Can't retain possession. Takes it to the corner. Terrific determination by Miller. Holds at the point. Picked off. Opportunity, but it's off the mark. Oh, that puck slowed up and just missed the side of the net. Good intercept in his own end. Knocked off the puck. The stick can break up a play, and it just did. Looking to Johnson. Propelled to Kadri. He takes that point pass. That's a great love save. Boston's in the neutral zone along the way. They keep working hard on the boards. That's how you break up a play. Snapping a pass to Hyman. Right in front. 
Oh, what a terrific save in close. Great opportunity. Better stop. On to Zaitsev. He's got it. Pass attempt to Bjork. Crosses that line. Back in his defensive end to get it. Solid pass ahead to Marner. Let's it go. Terrific save with no reaction time whatsoever. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Tie-up and uh, help from the winger. Trying to go to DeBrusque. Nicely into the zone. Got that pass near the blue line and now looks ahead. Bounces it ahead to Nordstrom. The Leafs with control at center ice. Took it up the boards and holds. Using the point. Rides the line. Slid back across from one point to the other. That puck careened off the broken stick out there. Save there. He holds that one, and it's a good thing because they were buzzing. Rask's able to cover up the puck, get a whistle. They were under siege in their own zone. Two periods are in the books here, and so one more to go, and maybe overtime, but it's been an entertaining first two. As is our custom, we look now at the shots on goal. Wow, does anybody play defense here? 22 for Toronto, and 22 for the Bruins. Don't forget to purchase your player t-shirt tonight, only at our team store. This is the third period, and this game is tied. Shoots one. Solid pad save. Outstanding save by the goalie. That puck went loose off the enemy. Point to point, and he gets it back. Sends it back the other way, and he gets it back. One-timer. Great opportunity denied. Covered up just to slow things down. Anderson's quick thinking allowed him to stop the play to slow down the pressure. Well, the goalie will take these all day. His save percentage goes up. Click, click, click with muffins like this to stop. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. Gains the zone. Went to the backhand. Routine save. Play stopped. That puck is just him. The shooter didn't get too much on that. Not a very dangerous opportunity for the goalie to stop, but he went in the butterfly just to be sure. The Leafs win it. Puck out of the zone, and the attackers regroup. Pitching it to Marner. Toronto's waiting back in their own end. Steps in from the neutral zone. Oh, broke it up. It's one of those restraining fouls. It's a hooking penalty, and the arm of the referee is up. The Bruins guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. Toronto's power play has not been a shambles. It's been very good here, and it gets another chance. 
Boston penalty to number 20. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Time of the penalty, two minutes, 30 seconds. Laid on to Marlowe. Shut out positioning by Ennis. Let's it go. Outstanding save with a glove. He's got it there. He wants to clear it out. Got it back out of the zone. The Leafs lug the puck in their own end. Passing one off now to Johnson. Leads that charge into the zone. Swept on to Levo. Turned a shot on net. Save. Puck loose. Good defensive positioning there. Toronto's power play has come to an end. Empty this time. Not before. Recollected. And he picks it up. And now it's directed to Marlowe. Shoots one. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Skill play by Miller. The Bruins skated up on the side. Let's it go. Well done with that pass. Chip to Pasternak. Wrist shot. Save with the pass. What a shift here, Doc. They had the momentum, but the goalie gets the whistle, and they'll need to reset. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Defensive zone win. Moving it to Matthews. Pitching this one to Kapanen. Let's it go. Cut his stick on it. Slid to Grizzly. Can start the attack going in the zone. Important interception there. Points it. Puck loose now picked up. Directing that one to Hyman. Got that pass in his own end. Muscled right off it. Puck is thrown to Kapanen. And that's an offside. Raz had far more dangerous shots than this to deal with. He deflects that aside pretty easily. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. Gets across, looks over his options. Moves it to the corner. Score! here they've broken the tie they've got the lead but now you have to concentrate get right back down to work Toronto's broken the tie here in the third period let's see what happens before time expires Maybe the Leafs prevail on the draw by number 16, Mitchell Marner assisted. looking by to number Tavares Snapping a pass to Marner. Trying to go to Marshan. Oh, that's a nice cut pass. Let's see what happens. Pulled it right back. Brings a shot. That's a marvelous save. The goaltender shuts that one down on a superb opportunity. Cut that pass in his own end. Sometimes when you're behind, you're pressed to make a good play. See if you can do something to help your team get back in the game. A superb hit. A great hockey play there. You gotta love that hit, unless you're the guy on the receiving end. That's a jolt. Let's the shot fly. Got it all.
just a little under nine minutes left to go in the third. Toronto's done a wonderful job to get this tie broken. Let's we'll see if they can do better now. They lock up from the draw, and the teammate puts the grab on it. Gathered up by Johnson. Toronto's lugging it up the wing. Great job on a cut pass. I know lots of people like high-scoring games. Well, actually, I'm one of them. But this has been almost like a well-played chess match. There's no room. There's no way that either team can find a way to get many more chances than there's been. Solid, clean win. Oh, that's a good keep. That's a great keep at the line. Score! And this one is tied. We came into the game, guys, thinking these teams were evenly matched. Now we've played some of this contest, and here we are, back at a stalemate. Boston's tied the game here in the third period. Every shift will mean a lot now. And that's a face-off win. Point to point to point. Perfect connection right through center. Pass cut, strong play. Time of the goal, 12 minutes, 58 seconds. Propelled to Matthews. Skill play by David Backus. Solid neutralized poke check. Pass attempt to Wagner. Shoots. The pad flashed out to turn that aside. Right into the slot. Great save in close. That is a great display of goaltending there, Doc. A shot. Wonderful chance to score, but no. Over five minutes still showing on the clock this period. A hockey game is one of lead changes, and this one has seen its lead vanish. Two immovable objects against another one, the boards. Not too sure if there's much history between these two, but after a hit like that, you can imagine there is now. Pitching it to Zeitzel. A good cut of the pass. They can keep the pressure on. Passing one off now to Ennis. Pass to the slot. A big one-timer. Fired one, and it got the post. He gains the zone. Shoots one. Save. Now it's directed to Hyman. Moving it to Lindholm. Terrific determination by Miller. Boston's up the wing settling things. Fires! Turned away with the stick. And he holds on and stops play. You can't deliver the puck much better than that, but the goalie says no chance. That's an excellent save. Face-off win here. Let's see what happens. He got his pad on it. Strong wrister. And on remarkable save in the goal crease. He holds on and gets the whistle. After being under attack the last sequence, they needed a whistle. Anderson's brilliance has been one of the reasons that this game remains tied. There's another example of it. Huge face-off win at a critical point here. This is tiring labor. Nice job, straight stand-up poke check. The Maple Leafs have it along the side at mid-ice. A long game in the 
the clock bleeds down to the final minute of regulation. In with it now. He's got that pass at the point. Muscled off. Pitching this one to Bjork. On to Nordstrom. Great chance, but he missed. Tied score, grade A scoring chance. Nothing to show for it. Cuts off the passing lane in the defensive zone. Right to the point. From the outside. Hainsey's carrying it through center. Laid on to Hyman. Waffle boarded. Boston's organizing back in the defensive zone. Pox loose. The roadblock got in the way. Up that right side to DeBrus. Directing that one to Hainsey. Ripped along to McAvoy. Let's a shot go. Good save there. Three periods didn't prove a thing. It's going to take overtime. The Stars will have to give more, and so will everyone else. 60 minutes have been played, and we aren't done yet. The shots on goal, 41 for Boston, and 29 for Toronto. Hockey is a 60-minute game, but it can go longer. This is the one that will send us longer. Intermission is here. Overtime has started. There'll be a hero with a regular stick and a hero at the other end with all the equipment. Puck is thrown to Tavares. It's an onside play. And it's a good pickup. The Maple Leafs are skating it up at neutralize. Shot! What a save! Not often you're all alone in front of the goaltender from this area of the ice. Great save. Clean win on the draw. The Bruins leave their own end. Takes that pass. Intercepted that one at an important place. Chip the Hainsey. Stole that pass at a critical end of the ice. Game on his stick. Rister from the slot. Nice save with the glove. Another example of just an outstanding game, man. He's one of my three stars tonight for sure. Good face-off win. Hammered. Wonderful save with a pass. Looking to Kapanen. That puck out of play over the glass. Anderson stop will extend this. It looked like we were going home with that chance. Brilliant stop. Just under three minutes skated in overtime. Six goals in this game so far, divided in half. And they've taken that face off between the blue lines and won it. Slid to DeBrus. Wonderful chance was set up, and the pass just goes wide. Ah, they should have done better on that pass. Now everybody has to go back to center ice and get ready again. That puck's loose, defended away by Marshan. Snapping a pass to Matthews. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. Blocked away. Got it at the point. Propelled to Gardner. Oh, what a play! Gathered up again by Gardner. He takes that one right ahead. Good pass. 
Looks ahead to start something. Good, solid defensive play with the stick. Trying to go to Zaitsev. On to Johnson. Puck loose, just a speed bump off the defense. And he dumps it in. A whistle. Offside is called. It's a face-off win. May not seem important in that territory, but they have possession. Score! Game over! Overtime winning goal! Three outings and three successes. Can't be any better than this. The best of seven moves on to clinch time in game four. This is what you call, Doc, a commanding lead. They're one win away from sweeping the series. Oh, Edzo, sometimes you just get so lucky. He's not shooting the puck there. The goaltender's fooled as the puck doesn't come with any velocity at all. No time like playoff time. See you next time. Good night, all.